RBI is the only licensed MLB game on the Nintendo Switch for the 2021 season, as of right now at least. Now, the series has been panned by critics over the years, but honestly, I thought that RBI 20 really pushed things over the edge in a good way. Now, the new gameplay mechanic for pitching and hitting felt great, and at the same time, fielding really felt like it needed some work, but I thought overall the experience was better than ever. Now, RBI 21 on the Switch is looking to improve upon some of the gameplay and presentation elements brought in from last year, and also bring in some improvements along the way. But, and pardon the pun here, is this a strikeout, home run, or something in between? That's what we're here to talk about. Danny from the Famicast here, now celebrating 10 years of being on the internet. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and turn on those notifications. And also feel free to leave us comments down below if you have something interesting or funny down there. We'll be sure to, well, maybe take a look at it in our bi-weekly show called The Famicast. Anyway, today we're taking a look at RBI Baseball 21 on the Switch. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the new additions and improvements here. Batting, play-by-play -play commentary, online play, visuals, create a player, and oh, so much more in this comprehensive review. Now, by and large, things remain mostly unchanged from RBI 20 when it comes to pitching, and I see that as a good thing. Now, here you first choose your pitch with the joystick and press B to confirm what you want to do. Then you choose a location and fire away. Now, the cursor this year is a little bit different from last year, but things other than that really haven't changed much. Uh, there's still the confidence meter that comes into play depending on how well you've been playing, which I always thought was cool uh, in last year's edition. I think it's quite good here, too. Now, the default camera here is a little bit more zoomed in, too, to give you a bit of a closer look at the action as well. So if you played RBI 20, you'll kind of know, know what to expect here. But if you've been away from this series for a while, or if this is your first time playing the game ever, uh, the, this handy tutorial at the beginning of the game will fill you in on the basics. Now for fielding, again, things really haven't changed much here too. A collision detection between the ball and on-field player seems to have gotten a little bit better than before here, but it's still not perfect. So for an example, in previous RBI titles, even if a ball appeared to bounce over your player's heads, or sometimes even look like they should go by somebody or something like that, they would somehow miraculously be able to make the stop. Now that's not always the case here, and it took me a little while to actually get used to that in some of situations. But, you know, there still are cases, like I said, where fielders look like they wouldn't have had a chance in hell at nabbing a ball, and yet they do. So your mileage may vary there. Now, last year's batting system in RBI 20 was met with mixed results. Now, to hit the ball in that game, you would have to actually hold the B button that would kind of charge up your swing and then release it when you thought you would be able to make contact with the ball. Now, things have changed here quite a bit in RBI 21. Now, there are actually three kinds of swings that are assigned to three different buttons. There's B for normal swing, Y for a power swing, and X for a contact swing. Now, I think the first two are pretty easy to understand, but, you know, the contact swing here, again with X, is meant to be used when you think a ball is going to be difficult to hit or a pitch that might be somewhat out of the strike zone or something like that. Now, with this hit, it is more likely that you're going to hit the ball, but your power will be decreased a significant amount. Now, I do still find myself swinging at almost everything, uh, like kind of like what I did in RBI 20. Actually, I had some really good results with that. But at the same time, you know, with, with these different hit types, I think this kind of seems to make the game be a little bit more balanced. Um, it takes some getting used to, but I think this is a positive change for the series. Now, just to note, you can actually play in the classic mode in the game uh, to make it more like an old-school baseball game on offense or defense if you choose. So you do have that option. Things remain largely unchanged with RBI 21 in terms of modes. Now here you have exhibition, franchise, postseason, and home run derby modes to try out. So nothing's really changed, and I, I think that's totally fine. Now, while the Xbox and PlayStation versions of RBI have seen online play over the years, RBI 21 marks the first time the feature is available on Nintendo's platform. So I was pretty excited to try it out, but I ran into some pretty big issues, uh trying to get there basically with the game crashing due to some kind of a bug with roster updates and all this type of stuff so like i don't know what the heck was going on but there was a problem when it came to initiating this roster update and and you need to have your roster updated i guess to be able to play online so what i did to try to fix this myself i deleted the game from my switch and then i re-downloaded it and that didn't fix the problem so then i went and deleted my save data which already included a few hours worth of franchise games that i'd played and boy oh boy i wish i would have just threw in the towel on the online before i did that so while i did manage to find an online match against joshua 
I think is what his name was. The game was incredibly jumpy and filled with bugs. Now, I was playing with, like, the, you know, the new control method and stuff like that, but it seemed like my opponent was playing with the classic setup. So it turned things into a weird, messy mix of the two styles where I almost had no control over where my pitches would go. Batting seemed mostly fine for me uh, in the short time that we played before my opponent left after the first inning, giving me a victory. Thank you so much. But yeah, if you're getting into this game looking forward to playing online on the Switch version, definitely temper your expectations. Uh, unless there are some major fixes here, the mode is almost unplayable. So this year, MLB AM decided to implement a play-by-play -play commentary featuring MLB Network's Fran Charles. Now, I was super excited that this feature was actually being finally implemented into the game. And over the years, the PA announcer calling the strikes, balls, all that crap was really kind of grating and kept the series from the level of realism that they were kind of evolving into. Now, while I'm happy that this is included in the game, the commentary here is a little bit limited and sometimes a little bit choppy. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you know, for the record, I, I will say that I've never done this, I've never implemented commentary into a video game or anything like that before, but, you know, I, it sounds like a pretty damn difficult thing to do. Now, things have to be dynamic and kind of based on what's happening in real time, and you have to make sure that you have the right nuance to say something, to, you know, fill in the gaps and all that type of thing. Now, things here sometimes sound a bit unnatural, and, you know, the, the, the lines that Charles has can get a little bit repetitive. Now, sound levels here, too, are a little all over the place. And, yeah, I don't know. I I'm happy that it's here. And, you know, given the dedication that the RBI team has had over the years for improving their games, I think that things will only get better over time. Now, as it stands right now, well, it it's there. <laughs> Now, outside of the commentary, you know, the other elements of the game of baseball are perfectly fine. You have the appropriate crowd reactions, uh, the on-field effects, like the crack of the bat, all that type of stuff. All that stuff sounds great. Now, there is also a pretty robust soundtrack here available. So, you know, there's there are quite a few options when it comes to audio and uh, getting your enjoyment out of the game that way. Now, for the first time ever... The REI series is offering the ability to create your own character. Now you can access this from the main menu under Manage Rosters and then Create Player. You can also do this in the Franchise Mode as well under Front Office. Now on top of the basics, you can choose a wide variety of hairstyles, facial hair, uh, gear, and more. I mean, it's a little bit limited, but there's still you know, a decent amount of stuff to cycle through. Uh, the gear, too, I thought was pretty impressive. There, there are a lot of different things that you can choose. You can choose different colors and all that stuff, too. Now, of course, you can also set the attributes and uh, the position of your player and stuff like that, too. Now, when it comes to, like, the stats and stuff like that, there doesn't seem to be any limit here, so you can make your player as good or or as realistic as you like. Now, it's nice to have this option in the game, and I'm sure some people will get some enjoyment out of it, uh, you know, basically being able to see themselves or whoever they make out on the field. For me personally, I, I really don't care so much about this as a feature, but, you know, I am glad that they decided to add something like this here. Now, one of the big new features this year, the progressive time of day, does just what it says. Now, I haven't quite pinpointed exactly how the timing of this feature works, but basically every few innings, you will see the changes take place uh, with the sky, with, you know, shadows shifting on the field, stadium lights getting turned on, and the sky turning from day to dusk and then to darkness, uh, the darkness of night. Now, just to be clear, this doesn't appear to be happening in real time or anything like that, and honestly, I don't really think it has to. Uh, it's a cool feature that works well and does add a little bit more realism to the series. Now, graphics and performance here don't seem to be all that much different from RBI 20 on the Switch. Now, I don't necessarily see that as a, as a bad thing. Now, while I do think the developers have pretty much reached their limit on what they can push out of the engine on, the, on Nintendo's platform, some nice fixes and adjustments have been made from last year's version. I think the game runs a little bit smoother overall, and some of the weird bugs, uh, like some severe jerky jittery scenes after hitting home runs, some of that stuff has been smoothed out. Now, there still are some issues with, like, shimmering shadows and some of the textures being a little bit blurry. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, the textures are something that you really won't notice unless you get up close to look at the players, which you can see when you're actually creating a player or in some of these other uh, camera angles and stuff like that, too. Uh, now, and speaking of camera angles, there are actually quite a few different things that you can actually cycle through here, both... Uh, with pitching and with batting. While I thought that was cool to see, I kind of wish there was just a free camera that could be used to check out replays or just line up some nice shots of your players doing some, making some great plays or something like that. 
Now, when it comes to menus and the overall user interface and stuff like that, things really haven't changed uh, very much for the past couple of years, and I, I think it's okay. The transition scenes did get a bit of an upgrade this year, and they do seem to be running a little bit smoother than uh, previous games, but yeah, there's really not much of a change in, in terms of that. Several important changes were made in RBA 21 to make it feel like more of a complete game. You know, like things like the progressive time of day and the commentary help bring an even higher level of realism to this friendly arcade-like package. Now, at the same time, the commentary could use a little bit of work. The engine is starting to kind of show its age, and fielding could use a bit of an upgrade. And also, they need to squash some of these bugs. Now, even with all that said, RBI 21 is a decent yet somewhat flawed baseball experience. Now, the majority of the time, it, it, you might not be able to tell from all the bad stuff I've been saying, but I think a majority of the time, things are perfectly fine. However, the glitches and bugs are likely going to stick out on your mind more than the good times. As always, thanks for checking out this video. If you like what you see, please feel free to drop us a like. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. We've got tons of podcasts, video reviews, special videos, and a whole lot more. Again, this is Danny from the Famicast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later. And the Chicago Cubs go ahead, and he's in there with a double. One to zero.